Uh, the top tonight on the heels of the $242 million school bond package that residents voted down back in November. Gregory Portland ISD is proposing an alternative, one that proponents say won't raise taxes. The new proposed school bond comes in at $176 million, a lower price tag of about $66 million less. Some of the major items taken out, the multipurpose center and field house, as well as visual and performing arts center. What is included are 12 projects the district has marked as urgent needs. Our Bill Churchill breaks it down for us. Bill? One of those 12 items, a replacement campus for T.M. Clark Elementary on Memorial Parkway. Today I visited the campus to see firsthand why the rebuilding of the school is a top priority. And all of this right here. Stains on the ceiling, fans running, and a floor slick with condensation. You can smell it. School principal Melinda Pena taking time out of Dr. Seuss week at TM Clark Elementary to show me this classroom, one that is now off limits to students. Then you know what, let's put it as our storage room so that way we don't ever put our students and faculty um, in an unsafe environment. One example of what educators are dealing with at one of the oldest campuses in the district. You don't typically see lockers in an elementary school Correct. in the hallway. Yes, typically in an elementary school classroom there are what's called cubbies in the classroom where each student has their own space to put their things. That helps with the safety issue as well. The children aren't out in the hall. Third grade math teacher Jennifer Nohavitsa telling me T.M. Clark once a middle school was never intended to house elementary students. Kinder first and second grade babies, some of them are too short at the beginning of the year to use the top lockers and so again space limitations. This is my room. Welcome to room 30. Her daughter Paige Nohavitsa is also a teacher there and knows all about the space limitations. It's pretty tight. Imagine having 22 students in here. We also have some building concerns every time it rains. A district repair list identifying signs of roof issues, a need for technology infrastructure, and issues with electrical security and HVAC systems. You know, what led to a no or not showing up at the polls? Superintendent Dr. Michelle Cavasso says the district re-evaluated the failed November bond election, eventually trimming it for voters come May 6th. It includes um, TM Clark Elementary, which is one of our urgent needs, um, a new maintenance and transportation facility, which includes a family resource center. Cafeteria renovations at Austin Elementary and GP High School, a culinary program expansion, fine arts facility upgrades at GP High School, including a new band hall, and hands-on learning experiences to align with the new Early Childhood Center. When it comes to the replacement team, Clark, if voters still don't agree at the polls, Cavasso says the district will have to make tough decisions. Then we'd have to look at potentially um, relocating students. And something else to note, Gregory Portland ISD is also seeing a student boom. According to one study, within the next eight years, the district could see 6,000 more students, a 24% increase in enrollment in less than a decade. Back to you. All right, Bill, thank you for that report. Well,